Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. So today we're going to be drawing a sheep. All that you need is a pencil, an eraser and a piece of paper. And if you like drawing animals, don't forget to download my free PDF of how to draw a horse galloping. You can find the link just here. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to start off with a really simple oval shape. So just draw an oval shape, just like this. Remember you can pause the video at any time. If this goes a little bit quickly, just pause it. Okay, so there's your oval shape. Now, next to this oval shape, I'm going to be drawing another oval shape, just here, attached and much smaller. So this is gonna be the sheep's head. So one just like that. Remember to do it lightly. Now, we're going to be drawing the sheep's muzzle, so just a shape just like this, just protruding from the smaller oval shape. Just like that. Next, the ears. So, shape just like that. And another one behind it. There we go. Now a little eye, just to show where it's gonna be. We can change these if they're in the wrong place. And then now for the chin, just going all the way down. From this ear, we're going to be doing a line coming down to the large oval shape. Now we're gonna be doing some stick legs just to show where they're gonna be. So one stick leg here and one here, let's make it a little longer. And then we're gonna have two stick legs at the back. So one, two, and that's it for now. Next, still pressing quite lightly to show where the nose is gonna be and the mouth. And we're just going to do this lightly as well. We're gonna go over it and we're just gonna do some kind of like fluffy lines to show sheep's coat. So these, if you can't see them, they're just like lines like this. So I'm gonna go all the way down here till I get about there. I'm gonna go all the way up to the belly to about there. Then I'm going to start just there, come in a little bit here and then out again and then round the head to there. Now for the front leg, I'm going to be doing front leg just like that. Bring it round just like so and then the other front leg, just poking out behind it. Just like so. Just like that. Now for the hind legs. Make sure that they're level with the with the front two legs. Bring it round like so. And then the other hind leg. And then we're gonna draw some more of the woolen coat just up here. So that's the second part. Next stage is to rub out the guidelines just so that you can see them very faintly underneath. So I'm going to be rubbing out this ear and this oval shape and also these lines that I used to show where the legs were and this one here. one here. I 
also I'm going to rub out the eye. I can still see where these things are, but I just need to do them a little bit better. I'm going to rub out this as well. <laughs> okay, so let's start again. So now I'm going to draw the face properly. I can still see the outline of that oval shape that I did before, but I'm going to draw a more realistic face. So just following where I drew the muzzle before and where I drew the mouth as well. Then I'm going to draw the chin coming up like that. Then I'm going to focus on the eye. And then it's got this rather peculiar pupil. If you can see, the pupil is kind of like a line across, a horizontal line. So we're just gonna draw this woolen coat coming round, like that. And then for the other ear, I'm just gonna make it a bit more realistic, like so. And the same with this one, coming to a point, curving round, like that. Again, I'll make the coats a little bit more realistic. Coming around like so. Now I'm going to be colouring in the legs, because the legs are a different colour to the coat. So just basically colour them in with the pencil. It's easier actually not to have a very sharp pencil for this. Fantastic, and now we're going to colour in the face, except don't colour in the eye. You've got to leave the eye area blank. And do the same with the ears. Now to finish this drawing off, I'm just going to add some shading to the areas that are in shadow. So for example, underneath the, the neck area. So just draw, actually using the pencil, using a soft pencil, just do tiny little circles. That's how I'm shading this in. Lots and lots of little circles. I'm doing it really quickly. So all the areas that are in shadow, so particularly the belly, and the underbelly under here. I'm bringing it round, round the back. Just a tiny bit on the top. If you want to blend it, you can use either a stump or your finger. I'm just going to make it a little bit darker on the face so that you can see the features a little better. A little darker under the ear and the same to the legs. Just to find them a little bit more. Press a little bit harder to make it darker. And then, because I've still got some of the, um, the pencil on my finger, I'll just use it underneath the sheep just to do some shadow underneath it. And there's your finished sheep drawing. 
I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a like and subscribe and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.